Shalom, Kolayim La, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go the bond is LGGMS and honestly, Akim. Peace and bless you, brothers and sisters. Listen, O full elect. Kolayim La, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And this is pretty much a follow video to the last video I did. Did on pretty much the trees in the garden, which rep represents the, um, you know, the nations and Adamites and how the Adamites were the exalted tree that was in the garden that the other trees envied. Okay, and I was going into this lesson. Just like Adam, <clears throat> the Adamites, you Jakes, you have no covering for your sin, man. Just we going into 2023, you know, pretty much the blood is off our hand. As it tells you in Ezekiel, the 33rd chapter, the Most High sent the watchman out there to warn you, Jakes, man, of what's coming down the line, man. Okay, we're approaching this, this new and upcoming year. I'm going to do another video on the things to expect. In this year, man, uh, in 2023, what the elite got planned for these people, man. All right. Now, I was said I wanted to go into Genesis, the third chapter, showing that the um, there were prophets back there, man, rebuking the Adamites. Right. When they were joining themselves to the philosophies and the doctrines of the nations. OK. And the practices of the nations, man, which the Most High forbid us not to do. Not to eat of those things, not to take part in it, not to learn. Okay? Because we didn't know what sin was in the garden. We were innocent, just like a child. Okay? But then we got exposed to certain things, man, because we didn't listen. We didn't take part, man. All right? We didn't listen to the council. You see? And it happened through the week of Vessel Eve, which brought it to her, um, her husband, Adam, man. Okay? Now, um, the point is in verse uh, 7. Genesis chapter 3. We, we, we know who the serpent, which that was a characteristic of a certain man. We know that in, when you read Revelation, the 12th chapter. So it says the serpent became the dragon. And the most high consider you nations beasts. When you read Ecclesiastes, the third chapter. Okay. You are the beast of the field. Right. Because you weren't given the law, man. All right. Anyway, let's read Genesis chapter three, verse six. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, right? Just like also the scriptures is comparable to food, comparable to wine, comparable to bread, comparable to water. OK, and like also we read Hosea 10 and 12. You jakes when you take part in these different philosophies, Christianity and Islam and following the ways and the philosophies of Babylon the Great, you take taking part in what? The fruit of lies. Okay? Let's read on. It says, And that it was pleasant to the eyes, and the tree to be desired to make one wise, started learning of their ways, which we know today, also going into what? Feminism. That's what the Most High checked in the same chapter and said, Thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. But let's read on. And a tree to be desired to make one wise, she took of the fruit thereof, and did eat, and gave her to her husband with her, and they did eat. They took part in those ways, man. Okay? And the eyes of them were both open, and they knew that they were naked. Now they knew what sin was. And, like, you know, they teach in the, the world in Christianity, uh, they were physically naked. Naked means they sinned. Okay? Just like when you read Exodus 32 26, when they built the golden calf, they asked Aaron to make it for them. It says Aaron made the children of Israel naked before the Lord, cause us to sin or transgress. Get another precept after, right after this. And they sued them fig trees, leaves together, and made themselves aprons to try to cover their sin. Okay, by taking part in these um philosophies and these different doctrines, these practices. Okay, that's not the covering we're supposed to be covered with. I'm gonna get this precept right now. Revelation chapter 16, verse 15. It says, Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked and they see his shame. What garments are we supposed to be clothed with? We get to Isaiah 61 and 10. There's many ones, actually. Uh, Isaiah 61, I believe it's 10. There's also one Isaiah 60. But it's Isaiah 61 and 10. He says, I will greatly rejoice in Yahweh Shah, my soul shall be joyful in my power, for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation, yet cover me the robe of righteousness, 
as a bridegroom decked himself with ornaments as a bride adorned herself with jewels. So this entire truth is the garments of salvation. That's what we preach. Okay, also righteousness, faith, keeping the commandments, right? All that's what part of the garments of righteousness. Okay, Adam, he took off his garments, right? He joined himself to the ways of the nations. And we see that led to what? Death, the fall of the sons of Adam or the sons of God, man. Okay, which that's what the nations in the garden wanted anyway. Because the scripture tells you, Ezekiel 31, that the, the trees, they envied Adam, man. Okay. So they wanted us to fall because why? We had access to the tree of life, a.k.a. immortality. Okay. Anyway, we jump back to Genesis, the third chapter. It says, um, all this noise outside, all this folly, man. That's another thing you Jake's taking part. New Year's Day, Christmas. Okay. I'm going to get that precept in a minute, man. Matter of fact, let me get that now before I read Genesis, uh, Three and seven, Isaiah 30 and 1. To prove that covering is the philosophies of the nations. Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith Yahweh Bashim al Shah, that take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. See? That's another sleep. See, that goes that goes directly with the precept. Okay, so when our people follow these these holidays and different religion, take part in voting. Okay, you what you're covering with another covering, man. All right, and the most high said, What, um, uh, a strange apparel, man, in his eyes, man. Okay, but not of my spirit that they may add sin to sin, which is what iniquity. Okay, that they walk, go down into Egypt, and have acts of have not acts of my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. They trust in Isha, they trust in oppression. Okay. That's what a lot of them took Maxine. All right. That's a cover. That's another covering. They were adding sin to sin. And a lot of you going to take the MOTB. Right. Verse nine. And this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh Bashim al Shah, man. Okay. And which say to the seers, see not and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto them smooth things prophesied deceits so they never listen to the prophets just like in a garden we jump back genesis chapter 3 verse 7 now it says and the eyes of them were both open and knew that they were naked they transgressed the law that they were given and they sued them fig leave trees together made themselves aprons to try to cover their sin right and they heard the voice of yahweh bashim al shah power walking in the garden in the cool of the day and who's the voice of Yahweh Bashim al Shah? That's the prophets. I'm going to prove that in a minute. Shrew says in the cool of the day, right? Before what? Before destruction, before judgment, right? The scripture talks about Psalms 91. Um, um, I think 91 and 6. Pestilence that walk in the darkness, briefly paraphrase it, and destruction that wastes that what? Noonday, right? Which that's the sun is at its highest point when it's the hottest, okay? So before the judgment, the Most High sent what? The prophets to warn you what's coming. And to prove that the prophets were in the garden, the voice of the Lord. Uh, what was that precept in Luke? I'll bring that out in a minute, actually. It's a common precept. Oh, right, here we go. Luke 1, verse 69. It says, And have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So since the beginning of time, the Most High had prophets, man. And he sent them in the cool of the day, man. Before the destruction, before he judged you, man. He always sent his men out there to warn you. Just like you Israelites now, before Jacob's trouble, the Most High sent his men out there, man. To warn you, man, because he's a just power, man. Okay, so it says that what? As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So since the beginning, the prophets were out there warning the Adamites, man. Right? To come up out of them, man. Come out of the, the ways and the philosophies of these nations, man. Okay? 
That's what we telling you Israelites now, all right, to come up out of for my people, man. All right, come out of the ways and the philosophies of Babylon. Cover yourselves with the covering of the Lord. Come back to your nationality. Worship the Most High in sincerity and in truth, man. We trying to bid you to come back into the marriage. Join again to the Lord, man. All right, it says, um, let's read on. <clears throat> Matter of fact, to prove another precept, the voice of the Lord. Let me get Daniel 9 and 9. Right. So the prophets were back there. So Adam had no covering for his sin. No covering, man, because he was being warned. All right. We read Daniel 9 and 10. It says, um, it says, uh, verse 9, it says, To the Lord our power belong mercies and forgiveness, though we have rebelled against him. Neither have we obeyed the voice of Yahweh Shemel Sha'i power to walk in his laws. Which he sat before us by his servants, the prophets. He gave it to us by the hand of Moses. Right? And when Israel went off, constantly, he's always sent prophets out there constantly to keep rebuking him. That's his voice. The prophets is what? His mouthpiece, man. Just like uh, uh, before they went to war with Ahab, uh, Joseph had to say, yo, listen, man. Is there one prophet of the Lord, man? Because the prophets were the counselors. They were the king's main advisor. What is the most high with us in this war? And he said, yo, there's one prophet, my God, but I hate him. Because he knew the most high was not with him, man. My God saw the counsel in the heavens. He was a voice of the Lord, man. All right. So the voice of the Lord was back there rebuking the Adamites, man. Just like today, man. And just like how Adam had no covering for his sin, you Israelites today, you have zero covering for your sins, man. Okay, and I'm gonna prove that in a minute as well. Uh, let me get John 15 and main point second as 16. I may close it out with that. Um, let me get that second as chapter one, verse 32. I'm gonna do a quick video, like I said, follow up video to that to the spirit. And like I said, that lesson, <laughs> Genesis, you know, one, two, three, four, you could do two, three hour lessons on those because it's, it's a deep parable. Right, Second Ezra chapter three verse, uh, verse. The whole chapter is good. Let me read verse twenty-seven. Yet he have not were forsaken me, but your own self saved the Lord. Verse twenty-seven. Verse twenty-eight. Thus saved the Almighty Lord. Have I not prayed you as a father his sons, and as a mother her daughters, and a nurse her young babes, that he should not be my people, and I should not be a power? That he will not be my children, and I shall not be your father. I gather you together as hens gathered her chickens under her wings, like it tells you in Psalms 91. All right? But now what shall I be unto you? I will cast you out from my face. That's why he kicked us out of the land. Why did he kick us out of the land? Because we were worshiping other gods, taking part in idolatry. And he's also going to tell you the main reason why in verse 32. When he offered unto me, I will turn my face from you, like it tells you in Amos, for your solemn feasts and your new moons and to your circumcisions have I forsaken. I sent unto you my servants, the prophets, his voice, whom you have taken and slain. They're killing the prophets, man. Most of them, they kill Uriah, Jeremiah 26. Okay, they tried to kill Elijah, man. They locked up Micah. They killed Zechariah, the prophet. Yahweh I said that. That's also in the Chronicles, man. I think it's Chronicles 23 around there. Okay? It says, What? He have taken and slain and torn their bodies in pieces, whose blood I require at your hands, saith the Lord. And we know they killed the Mashiach. Conspired to kill him. So the Mosai said, I require it at your hands. Because you rejected his voice, you rejected his counsel, a.k.a. his prophets. Rejected the prophets, man. Now the blood is on your hand, man. Right? That's why Yahweh Shai said John 15, 22. So there's no covering for your sins, man. All right? Zero. John 15, 22. That's why Yahweh Shai said this. He said, If I had not come and spoken unto them, them they would have not sin. Okay? Most I couldn't judge you. He said, But now they have no cloak for their sin. There's no covering for your sin. <laughs> You know, you can't cover your sin like they try to do in a garden, man. There's no excuse, man. man like Adam tried to come in. Well, it, was, it wasn't me. It was, it was my, you know, woman. What do you mean? I left you in charge, man. I left you to dress the garden. What are you talking about, man? 
I gave you the commandments. Okay? And on top of that, I sent you the prophets to warn you in the cool of the day. And you still ain't take heed, man. So there's no cloak or covering for your sin, man. And that trickles down today. All right? No cloak, man. And that's why I'm going to close out this precept here. <clears throat> they do other videos on the book of Genesis. We'll see through the spirit, man. All right. Uh, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 62. All right. 1662 says, Yea, in the spirit of the Almighty, which made all things, searched out all hidden things in the secrets of the earth. I should tell you, Jerusalem being searched out right now. All right. Every man's works is being brought to the forefront. And we've seen who serve the Most High and who serve him not. All right. Surely you know if your inventions or what do you think in your heart or your minds, even them that sin and would hide their sin. Right. Trying to do things in the dark and men taking certain bribes and certain charters, man. Right. But in the forefront, they look like they doing the right thing, like the Lord said about the Pharisees. But they were lying with the Romans. See, and that's these guys, they're talking about the circumcision men who know the Israelites, man. That's what they tell you. Don't call on the name. All right. It says, therefore, saith the Lord, exactly search at all your works and he will put you all to shame. And when your sins are brought forth, you shall be ashamed before men and your own sins shall be accusers in that day. OK, we know that day is approaching, man. The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble. But what will he do or who would hide your sins before the, the Most High and his angels, man? Okay, the scripture says your own sin shall be accusers in that day, so you're gonna know why you're being judged and you're gonna know why you're being put to death. Man. All right, and a lot of you Israelites, even you guys, is going off from these other camps. You guys are rebuked countless times, man. And a lot of you are those foolish virgins, you and your followers. When all hell break loose, you're gonna try to run and try to get the answers, man. But you also gonna be what rejected, man. Right, you're gonna be rejected. You see, so like I say, man, hopefully, this lesson was edifying. Like I say, calling Laya, how about Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Shalom.